Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to do the Grave of Venom number 7. And f to do this challenge, I'm only going to be using Horus, which everyone should have an access to. And the other heroes that I'm using are all blue heroes, rare heroes. Um, this run can be done completely on auto. Uh, the levels for these characters are between 90 and 70. Well, this guy is actually level 60 64 because I ran out of potions. But um, yeah, I, I can I can still do it. Uh, and it's okay for them to be a little bit lower level because only the main character, sorry, not the main character, only the tank and whoever has the lowest HP will be getting hit. So first of all, I'm just gonna go through the go through the uh, skill timings. Um, so this, I only have to set the skill timings for two units. I've actually explained this in a previous video, but I'm basically employing exactly what I said in that video. So I'm trying to make sure that Arena and uh, Sigrid are both applying a attack penalty down on the boss in different succession. So that way, after the 12th second, uh, the boss will always have the attack penalty debuff on him the whole time. Um, and aside from that, so I'm going to start this now. By the way, I also, actually, let me just double check. It might have run out. I also need food as well. So um, I'm going to... I'm going to have them have this food for extra accuracy. Actually, before I start this, let me just go over the characters so you can see all their stats and the equipment they're using. This is Arena. This is Sigrid. This is Horus. This is Hexandra. And this is Quarion. So as you can see, n nobody had um, orange equipment yet. Um, yes, so... Uh, yeah, so for the main challenge here was basically making sure that Horus had enough healing to keep him alive. Like with the two debuffs, I found that, you know, he doesn't die fast. Like he doesn't, he can last a while, but over time the boss just, if, if I only had Hexandra as the healer, over time the boss just managed to do um, too much damage that eventually it would wear him down and halfway through the fight he would die. So I really had to bring a second healer. I tried a few other rare heroes that I could use instead of a healer. But uh, I will, after, at the end of the video, I'll go over some other heroes and heroes that I tried to use and that ultimately did not succeed. Um, I, I will just touch on it a little bit. But this is the setup that I found to be most effective. Um, also, do keep in mind that I could technically raise Horus to uh, level 100. I have not done the fifth awakening for him yet. But if you're struggling with this combination and Horus is just dying too fast, you could technically, you know, just level up Horus to, you know, level 100, like do the fifth awakening for him, level up to 100, and he should be able to last longer because he would have much better HP and higher defense as well. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I mean, if you, if you are using that setup, like if you are using Horus at level 100, he might even be able to get away with some of the other uh, options instead of Quarion. You could probably use uh, like Enna or but I, I will go over them. Like even your main character in with the with the ice specialization with the with their shield, uh, yeah, it might it might be enough. But at level ninety, I found this was the only setup that really kind of worked. Um, another thing to note here is that I wanted Arena to use her uh, ultimate first, and then her ultimate lasts for twenty seconds. So at nineteen point five seconds, I'm using Sigrid to use her uh, her attack. This way, it also additionally attacks this uh, Wisp on the left side, um, because I found the left Wisp on the left side also does a lot of damage as well, um, especially to uh, my Hexandra, who's only level seventy. I think it does like four K or something um, when she when she does when the Wisp doesn't have the attack on debuff. So by uh, also constantly debuffing that Wisp attack as well, um, my team just overall fares a lot better. So with this setup, Arena is applying attack penalty on both that Wisp and the boss. And then at 19.5 seconds, um, my Sigrid is extending that attack debuff on both of them. Um, okay, so here, uh, my Sigrid actually did not apply it because I guess I, I just didn't have enough um, accuracy. So accuracy is one of the main things that you have to watch out when you're doing this combination. Like you're, you're trying to constantly apply the attack debuff. So you have to make sure that, uh, you know, you bring units that have high accuracy. 
Uh, for level seven, you need at least 170 accuracy on both of these, you know, both of your uh, attack debuffers, attack penalty debuffers. Um, but that 170 includes, uh, you know, um, that 170 includes like food and also your captain skill. So with me, I'm using plus 15 accuracy from food and 30 accuracy from uh, Sigrid's captain skill. So I only need 125 accuracy to reasonably land my debuffs. I think I actually have more than 125. So I guess the more that you have, the better. Maybe you have like an 80% chance to land or something and I just happen to miss that one or something like that. But anyway, this is the statistics. So just so you know, um, yeah, so I, I will touch on some other units that I tried using and that didn't work. There's one unit that honestly disappointed me because I was so excited to use her, but ultimately she ended up falling short. So let me go over her uh, and the reason why. So this girl, I don't know how to say her name. I'm not, I'm not gonna pronounce it. It starts with a vowel. I'm probably gonna misspell it pro like totally. So I really thought she would do well because her passive lets her heal an ally by 220% of attack when she deals damage. So, uh, sorry, when she deals damage with the skill. So that would include the battle skill and also the ultimate. So in a 20 second ratio, sorry, in a 20 second time frame, she would have used her skill three times. Unfortunately, I found that she usually healed herself. So the tank could be at half health and she could be at like 80% health or something and she opts to heal herself. I think one time she even healed herself when she was like full health. Maybe she was missing like 200 HP or something. But if she looked like she was full health and she still, herself, still healed herself instead of the tank, so that was disappointing because I thought she would be a good hybrid unit that does a lot of attack but also works as a secondary healer. Unfortunately, she did not because she only heals herself or she mostly healed herself. It doesn't say that she heals the lowest HP target anyway. So maybe it's random and she often just prioritizes herself over the others. I don't know, but I, unfortunately it just didn't work out. The other unit that I tried to use was my main character. Uh, where is she? My main, yeah, I tried to run this with the eye spe specialization and this much attack. So that's like 2000 attack. And unfortunately it still didn't work. Like the, um, the shield, just wasn't enough for Horus to keep himself alive. Uh, eventually, he will get worn down around like halfway through the boss fight, he would die. So this was not enough. So I really needed to bring a secondary healer and I was looking at my different rare options and I found that he was probably the best choice. Um, oops, he heals for 15% of target's max HP. So with him and her, who's healing for 20%, so that's about 30% of max HP that's healed every, what is it, 20 seconds, 18, and for him it's every 19 seconds. So yeah, about every 20 seconds you're he healing your um, your tank for 35% of HP, plus whatever healing you get from the battle skill. So he heals twice within about a 20 second ratio, and she will also heal twice. Um, this has other notable skill is that for his ultimate, he also gives defense up, so increases def defense by 30% as well. Because of the additional effect, if you compare the two, Hexandra's uh, field is higher, like she has a longer range, she can cast her healing, whereas this is just a three by three square, but he has an additional effect. Um, and he also has a 20% chance to increase the healing by an additional 50%. So his seals are quite powerful. Um, and combined with the defense up, I think he makes a pretty good case to use just as often as Alexandra. I think the two of them together, when you really need additional healing, will really supplement each other and provide as much healing as you need. Um, other than that, uh, if you happen to not have, you know, either Arena or uh, Sigrid, I found there was another option, and that's given enough for free to everyone. So there was another option that you could use as well, which I think everyone should have access to. Well, I know you have access to it because you would have gotten the unit for free. But that unit is this guy. I think it's pronounced Gulal. So he has a 100% chance, once you level up his skill, to inflict att attack penalty two as well. And it's at a 650% attack ratio. Uh, not as good as Sigrid, but 
he will get the job done. If you don't have you know one of the two, or if you don't have both of them, if you don't have Sigurd and Arena, you could use him and you could use somebody else. Hopefully you have you know one of these other units. Like just do this. Go to attack penalty, see what units you have, and if you have a unit, uh click on them like this and read their ultimate. Not their yeah, read their ultimate and make sure it applies attack penalty too for 10 seconds and you need to find a way to bring the recharge timer down to 20 seconds that's probably the hardest part if it's an epic or legendary hero so hopefully you have uh rare heroes that work like sigrid or arena and i know you have galal so uh one other thing i want to mention there are heroes like this that could technically work because she has you know those criterias but the thing is you also have to bring a very high accuracy so if you're pumping up her accuracy, you're probably giving up some defense or HP. And if you're doing that, you might not be able to survive the boss. I don't know. I mean, her passive is pretty good anyway. So maybe she can still do that while pumping her accuracy and decreasing defense and HP a little bit. I don't know. I mean, if you're not able to, if you don't have Sigurd in Arena, you want to try it, you have to figure it out somehow with the roster that you have. But these are the qualifications. These are the things that you need to run this. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.